Yeah, good morning, my people. What up? Are you doing? Are you faring? <laughs> How was the weekend? Did you be body? Mm. I also I, I I tried to be body too. All right, this is a prosperous new week, and it's a very blossom one, a very cool one, a prosperous one, blessed one. My name is K I N G. Yeah, K to the I to the N to the G, the King Himself, and I'm welcoming you once again on board. Please do where to click on the subscription button and click on the notification bell so you can be notified when we post new content. Now, this morning, we are bringing you 10 latest updates to know as Russia and Ukraine war may end soon. Well, that may end soon, I believe. That's the good news, you know, that part, yeah. May end soon. No, we just may make it end new. We don't want war, eh? We don't want war at all, at all. In other news... India, <laughs> they said, uh, okay, India fired the missile into Pakistan. They said it was a mistake. Hey, they are calling for war again. This is the end time, man. Many things are just happening. Countries rising against each other. Turkey, on Sunday, said Russia and Ukraine made progress on the negotiations to halt the invasion, and the two warning sides were close to an agreement. Of course, it is not an easy thing to come to terms with why the war is going on why civilians are killed, but we would like to say that momentum is still gained. We see that the parties are close to an agreement. Foreign Minister Mevlot Kavuzoglu said in live comments from the southern Turkish province of Antaria. Now here are the latest developments in the war in Ukraine. Yeah, like I said, we are here to... What do you feel about the war? What do you feel? Hmm? Some people even said because of the war going on, there is no news of COVID-19 again. <laughs> <laughs> that COVID-19 is just a set up by the world power system. Well, I don't know what to say about that, but if you have any comments, before we end this, just, just make sure you drop your comment in the comment section. Hmm? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are here to give you hot odds. All right. The first of the time to meet, says Zelensky. Zelensky calls for urgent talks with Russia, saying in a Facebook video, they are the only chance for Russia to minimize the damage done with their own mistakes. Zelensky has been pushing for direct talks with Putin. Putin, yeah, D, man, that's one thing I know. A very, very, very obstinate man, man. Very, very obstinate. Moscow claims that several rounds of negotiations have made progress on one of its key demands, that Ukraine becomes a neutral state. Kyiv, which is demanding international security guarantees, denies its position has changed. In another update, I have personal weapons. Russia says for a second day in a row, it has fired its newest hypersonic missiles in Ukraine, destroying a full storage, a full storage site in the country south. And I don't understand. Are they happy about that? <laughs> yeah, okay, they did something like that. So are they not happy about that or what? Like they're feeling fly. They're feeling fly. Hypersonic missiles travel faster than the speed of sound. Jesus. Hey, <laughs> and can maneuver in mid flight, making them hard to track and intercept. <laughs> Or more I, fear country will no fear Russia. Yeah, countries like even I'm very sure even USA, USA should 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 do that seriously. Like, can you just imagine? I personally mix eyes. They travel faster than the speed of sound. The speed of sound, as you can hear my voice now, you can imagine the speed like at which you can hear me like speed like I'm saying it now. Now imagine something faster. How many seconds? <laughs> Is that thing beating time or beating seconds? I don't understand. Russia's defense ministry says it used the technology to destroy a large storage site for fuels and lubricant for the Ukrainian armed forces near Kotsa. All their names have their names just the day summer. Kostyan Ko- Ko- Snivika in the Mykolaiv region. <laughs> Maripol had school bombed. That's another update. Ukrainian authorities accused Russian forces of bombing an art school in the besieged city of Mariupol, where some 400 people, including women and children, had been shattering. They also accused the forces of deporting around 1,000 residents to Russia and stripping them of their Ukrainian passports. <laughs> Zelensky says Mariupol siege war crime. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky says the siege of Mariupol will go down in history as a war crime. According to me, said to do such a thing to a peaceful city, what the occupiers have done, this is a terror that will be remembered even in the next century. He says, he adds, Russian shelling is blocking efforts to deliver humanitarian supplies to Ukrainian cities. See, one thing I know about this thing, a quick one. Yeah, no, this is not Zelensky talking now. This is King the King talking. War, war does not have a good 
effect on any I'm, I'm not even talking about your country anywhere there is war i'm telling you this thing has affected the economy of ukraine if ukraine or russia wants to you know giddy up let me say maybe in the next 40 years they might not be able to bounce back. this has caused a lot of havoc i'm telling you chernigy hospital hit in the circled northern city of chernigy the, ma- the mayor says dozens of civilians have been killed by indiscriminate artillery shelling and that the hospital has been hit the city is suffering from an absolute humanitarian catastrophe. He adds. Hmm. Ukrainian official officials say one of Europe's biggest iron and steel works, Azovstal, has been badly damaged by Russian forces. We will return to the city, rebuild the enterprise, and revise it. Azovstal's director general Enver Tikvili writes on messaging app Telegram without specifying the extent of the damage. Ukraine calls on China to condemn Russian barbarism. I, I don't involve China. <laughs> that is, you don't involve China. Now, the Chinese, Chinese they are, they are full of wit. Very, very, very clever. Yeah, you can still call on China, but don't call on North Korea. <laughs> Kim Yo Jun, no, I know they waste time. Eh? That man will bag your trousers. I know we may talk about. He loves war, but I don't believe something like this should just go on and on. I believe the European Union should just do something. But one thing I know is after this war, after this war, after this war, Putin, that's what I'm Putin, the president of, of, of Russia, he might be, you know, held responsible for, 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 war, for, for war crimes. That's what I know. Even if not the two presidents, Ukraine calls on China to join the West in condemning Russian barbarism after the U.S. warned Beijing of consequences if it backed Moscow's attack on the country. Yeah. U.S. Yeah. U.S. warned, U.S. warned China. Warned China. Like, China was on the verge of supporting Russia to attack uh, Ukraine, and that would have been very, very devastating and disastrous. Do you know the force... China, 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 <laughs> the Chinese, Chinese, uh, uh, People's Republic of Chinese, of, of China, they are, the military days, they might not have much nuclear weapons like the US and Russia joined together. When we are talking about manpower, like I mean, uh, uh, soldiers, I mean soldiers, they have greater number of soldiers. That is what I know. Yes, it is what I know. You know, if you, if you, if you, if you have someone, if you, if you've read uh, this book, Forgotten the the title, the owner, the, the name of the of the writer, the art of war. See, it's a Chinese book, the art of war, the art. That's A R T. You no, know? and then according to history, China, China has a greater like mass number of soldiers in the whole world. You know, they are they are the most. The China is probably actually the most populated country in the world. And let me say, twenty percent or thirty percent of them. Joint military, so China, so they might not have uh, missiles, blah blah blah. But you know, even in this in this century that we are, most people, they, most countries, they want to fight, and they fight with nuclear weapons, and you don't see. Okay, let's face each other. You know, that one is. But the US are to warn China, so you don't support Russia. Or, I see all these not just politics. If you have one or two comments, can just help us. You know, comment in the comment section, and please don't use vulgar or verbal words. Eh? I believe this thing that U.S. is doing is just to, you know, now to just they know what they are, you know, the games they are playing now. U.S. know for once so they don't like Russia, like they don't like Russia for anything. You know, they see Russia as a contender for world power. Yeah, you know, Vladimir Putin sees himself as the world uh, most powerful man, and the same thing you went to the Trump was there. So I believe why would they support Ukraine? Well, that's that about that. Those are some of the latest. So we will still bring you more updates on the Russian and Ukraine war. But the good news is that it may end up, uh, it may end soon. And so we are still praying for that. My name is Kiang. Stay tuned for more updates. I love you so much. Thank.